praise be to jesus a person was speaking about 48 minutes in the white house at 49th minutes of his speech an opponent interrupted and said to lincoln that he was speaking too much and he continued remember that the slippers that i am using now made by your father the president of the united states of america abraham lincoln replied to him if you don't mind i would like to speak for two more minutes so he went to the mic and told this i thank my opponent for reminding the president of the united states of america that's me that i am a son of the cobbler secondly i thank him for acknowledging the hard work of my daddy because my dad stitched his slippers few years ago and it is still in good condition and thirdly he said mr if you have any problem with your slippers please come and give it to me after the meeting and i will mend it for you yes my dear people of god the purpose of god creating us is to know him to love him and to serve him in this world and to be happy with him forever in the next but in the course of time a willingness to know god the desire to love him and to serve him and the goal or the ultimate desire and wish to be with him now and forever tend to diminish in our lives the month of november is a dedicated for the departed members of our dear ones we visit the cemetery quite often in this month in a particular way praying for them in our family prayers offering mass for them etc today's readings invite us to reflect on the themes life death and resurrection in the first reading we see the courageous mother and her sons who gave up their lives for the sake of their faith in god yahweh they were ready to die than to sin according to them death is not end in itself but it is the beginning of eternal life on the contrary in the gospel of today a question about the resurrection is placed before jesus to trap him by the sadducees why i say it is a trap because this question is asked to jesus in the presence of pharisees and the sadducees the pharisees believed in the concept of resurrection and angels whereas the sadducees denied us now one may think how jesus is going to answer to the question the answer jesus gives satisfactory to them to sadducees jesus affirms that there is a life after death so believe in the resurrection of the dead and live well your life here on earth yes all that have existence in the universe how to die at a particular point of time this is the law of nature and no one can escape from it the fascinating thing is that nobody knows when how and where one will die it is uncertain but we know that we will die one day there are few people who have experienced a death and became alive for example a person who met with an accident feels that there is no hope of coming back to life yet he comes back to normal life by the grace of god there are few people suffering from incurable diseases whose life on earth is numbered by doctors yet they lived more years 
yes dear friends the concept of resurrection is less spoken about and less heard about too because we hardly think about our life after death we always pay attention to how we can make our life more comfortable and beautiful on earth than preparing a life that is reserved for us in heaven for eternity some persons study sincerely and faithfully their subject matters because there is an examination to test their knowledge some persons train themselves physically because they have to be fit in order to join in the army or police the poor work day and night so that they may get a little money to feed their family at the end of the day finally how many of us live our life well so that we will attain eternal life is the question remains unanswered god has bestowed us with the life so let us make our life more pleasing to god and let our actions be worthy to find his favor for our eternal life let us have the desire to be angels in heaven in the company of his saints live jesus